Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. In heartwarming news, six-month-old baby Bakita has gone to India where she will undergo heart surgery. Baby Bakita's plight was highlighted by Capital FM, attracting support from Kenyans who contributed 1.5 million shillings, including 700,000 shillings from lawyer Cecile Miller's foundation. Bakita has only one valve in her heart, a condition that makes the clean and dirty blood mix, putting her life at great risk. Medics have said the condition can be rectified if a heart surgery is done by the time a baby turns six months old. Deputy President William Ruto says the government will address concerns of teaching sex education in schools. Ruto says the Ministry of Education will respect religion and culture while handling the subject. The Deputy President was responding to concerns raised by Catholic Archbishop John Jue during the 50th anniversary of Muhoho High School in Gatondo, Kiambu County. I am aware that the church is concerned about the issues of sex education in our institutions of learning. And I want to promise the church that um, we will be conscious as government that education is conducted and instructions are carried out in our schools in a manner that respect our culture and respect our religion. Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero has condemned the attack on Kakamega Senator Bani Halawale by goons outside the Milimani Law Courts on Thursday. Police were also forced to shoot in the air and lob tear gas again on Friday after their supporters faced off outside the court. Kidero has sued Halawale for linking him to the loss of funds at Mumia Sugar when he was at its helm. Uh, me as the governor of Nairobi, I'm a believer in due process. And that's the reason why uh, when Senator Halawale uh, uh, said things that required to be uh, proved uh, I went to court on defamation and I would like due process to take place so I do not support hooliganism I do not support uh, fights and street fights for the past two years uh, since I became the governor we've had a very very peaceful uh, uh, city we've not had any running battles and I will not support anybody who is lawless. The Council of Governors has threatened to move to court to challenge the county retirement scheme. Council of Governors Chairman Peter Munya says the bill which allows Treasury to manage the county pension funds was unconstitutional as it was handing over county government assets to the national government. Counties have been lobbying to have their own pension scheme to secure their workers after retirement. First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has called on Kenyans to get regular medical checkups. She says diseases such as cancer are treatable if caught early. The First Lady spoke ahead of the Stop Cervical, Breast and Prostate Cancer in Africa conference, which takes place between Sunday and Tuesday. And finally, taking a look at the world of sports, Deputy President William Ruto has awarded the National Women's Volleyball Team with 1.5 million shillings. Each player received 100,000 shillings for their history-making feat, where they defeated Peru 3-1 to be crowned Group 3 champions in Australia in only their second season at the global circuit. Speaking on Friday when hosting Malkia Strikers to breakfast at his Cairn residence in Nairobi, the Deputy President pledged the government will support the team fully in training and competition. You have uh, achieved a feat that has not been done before in the history of volleyball in Kenya and in Africa. As has been said here, your win in Australia is a first, both in Kenya and in the Africa continent. And that's a wrap-up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angelo Amboy. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. And remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya.